Hi there, Richard Tubb here in the Tubservatory, keeping my eye out for top resources to help you to grow your MSP business. So without further ado, here are my five a week from the MSP space. What is IT process automation and what are the opportunities for MSPs? Adi Picabatera gives a broad overview of ITPA and provides examples of where it can be applied in modern IT workflows. With a 50% increase in uptake of AI solutions predicted by 2025, as well as a need to reduce costs in the current climate, ITPA could be a future consideration for your MSP. Marketing strategies can be a big source of frustration for many SMBs. So this article from Smart MSP's Kendra Olney Lee highlights why some marketing leads fail to convert into sales and what you can do to increase your conversion rate. This is well worth a read if you have found conversions difficult in the last few months. A YouTube series that caught my eye recently is Tough Talk on Cybersecurity. In each episode, CompTIA's Wayne Selk talks to an expert on a different aspect of cybersecurity for their insights and tips. In this episode, he talks to Anne Westerheim about user awareness training. Others in the series include data backups and acceptable use password policies for MSPs. Ofcom has expanded its remit under the Enterprise Act 2002 to investigate the public cloud and internet communications market. Cliff Saran of Computer Weekly reports that one of the first areas it will assess is the strength of competition in cloud services. This will largely impact on the big three, AWS, Azure and Google Cloud and has far-reaching implications for this growing sector. And finally, as the human genome is made up of tens of thousands of genes, all with their own unique codes, it's important that geneticists label them correctly in their research papers. But recently, several codes have had to be renamed because Microsoft Excel has been auto-converting them into a date format. This has concerned the Hugo Genomic Nomenclature Committee so much, they've had to publish new guidelines for gene naming conventions. I was delighted to hear that Mark Coatman, author of Help Desk Habits and MSP Secrets Revealed, has recently joined forces with MSP marketing expert Dave Sutton as part of the Wingman MSP marketing team. Mark has been collaborating with Dave on projects for the last 12 months and brings with him a ton of experience, reviewing MSP websites as well as his own industry marketing and public speaking experience. I for one am very excited to see what comes next from this partnership. Cloud compute provider Linode have started a new YouTube channel for all their partner related content. The Linode partner Partners channel is chock full of great videos including interviews, guides, event takeaways and their monthly partner roundups. You should definitely subscribe and hit the notification bell and shameless plug you can also catch my interview with James Steele here in the featured interview section. It is without doubt one of the scariest things a business can go through so any advice on the subject is welcome from those with experience and insight. This white paper from Pax8's Dominic Kirby MSP advice for executing mergers and acquisitions takes us through the initial analysis and planning through to execution and is a must read for any MSP considering or about to undergo M&A. Now we've all heard of the concept of gamification, right? Well, Chris Brogan's take on this is that we do it all the time subconsciously, so why not take a more structured approach and give yourself a reward when you complete a difficult or monotonous task? The bigger the task, the bigger the reward. It's a great little productivity hack. Need to make follow-up calls on a bunch of sales prospects? Going to make at least three visits to the gym this week? Completed your tax return for the quarter? Well, give yourself a treat, you've earned it. And finally, the CompTIA Benelux community meeting takes place on the 22nd of November in Breda in the Netherlands. As always, the one day event is a chance to ask questions and network with peers, as well as listen to some great speakers and be part of engaging discussions. Themes included for the meeting include women in tech, cybersecurity trends, and a keynote from Hans Dehmeyer, supplier of optimism and inspiration. It can be disappointing when your carefully planned marketing brings visitors to your website but go no further in discussing the potential for a sale. 97% of first time website visitors are lost for good without buying your services or joining your marketing lists, says Zementum's Shannon Murphy in an article for Channel Futures. Here she provides practical tips on how to retarget content at three key audiences, enabling you to increase your chances at further sales. When it comes to security, there is often a case to be made for implementing extra security that clients cannot immediately see. So it's worth being aware of the many ways hackers attempt to crack our passwords. It's believed that as many as one in three of us use the same password for more than one account. While some of the methods are immediately obvious, there are others here that may be less so. Forewarned is forearmed. Is the value of what you're selling in how you solve problems for your clients or how good your one size fits all solution is in general? Nate Friedman, CEO of Tech Pro Marketing, insists it's the former in this blog for SuperUps AI. 
He insists you don't need to create a complete catalogue of your services on your website and instead should focus more on the language that connects with your customers. It's about the how, not the what, says Nate. As an MSP, you're a problem solver, so act like it. The 1980s was a critical turning point for businesses adopting computing technology for competitive advantage. The decade saw the introduction of electronic mail, mobile phones and the Windows operating system. Tom Abram of computing.co.uk takes a nostalgic look back at the critical gold rush for IT businesses, which has some important lessons for future technological advances. And finally, on the 25th of November, cybersecurity solution experts at Cronus are hosting the webinar, How to Ensure That Cyber Threats Are Not Already In Your Network. This hour-long virtual event will reveal how attackers breach companies and includes a live demo of how simple and effective ransomware attacks can be. This is a must for any security-focused MSP, so register now to reserve a spot. A video that caught my eye is MSP Growth, Nine Things I Wish I Did Earlier by MSP expert Pete Matteson. Now, Pete shares the things he wishes he'd done sooner in his own MSP journey, and it makes for valuable viewing. How does your MSP website shape up against other IT businesses? The Uptime Solutions team have pulled together a really useful list of great MSP websites for you to look at. For instance, Ed Green at TrueByte Tech has put together a simple but compelling site for visitors. Check out the article and compare your website. Privacy is top of mind for many SMEs, and so MSP privacy management software Keepable, which pitches itself as taking the ARG out of GDPR, have recently integrated the UK ICO's accountability framework into the Keepable solution. Now, Keepable CEO Robert Bohr shares that so many customers and consultants told Keepable that they wanted the UK ICO's accountability framework in Keepable, that under government license, they've gone and done it. News from the war on cybercrime, as Dev Kundalia of Computing reports a decline in the number of ransomware victims paying hackers. With many cybersecurity insurance companies paying out ransomware extortion money, would you recommend to your MSP clients to pay hackers or not? Leave a comment and let me know your thoughts. And finally, does your MSP business deserve a share of the $10,000 on offer in the MSP awards by superops.ai? I'll be one of the judges for these awards and the categories include MSP website of the year, best MSP community contributor, and many more. Visit superops.ai forward slash awards now to enter.